Hey, well, you know, we are a battleground state. Every vote definitely counts. And just think about this. Just fewer than 75,000 votes are what separated Donald Trump and Joe Biden here in North Carolina back in 2020. And right now, the polls suggest another close race happening in November. It's why this historic decision could potentially be enough to sway voters. If they can do this to me, they can do this to anyone. Former President Donald Trump quick to claim his 34 felony guilty verdicts were politically motivated, part of what he called a rigged trial. And Republicans were quick to rush to his defense, fundraising off the decision. And here in Wake County, the GOP chair says he believes voters will see things the same way and says sticking up for Trump will drive turnout to the polls. Uh, everything that we're seeing is that this is this is bad for the country. Uh, but uh, my inkling is, is that it's going to be a, a positive as far as the voting polls for President Trump. The American principle that no one is above the law was reaffirmed. Meanwhile, President Biden commenting on the situation before planned remarks today as Democrats react to the verdict. Locally, the North Carolina Democratic Party wasn't available to speak today, but political expert David McLennan says it's important to figure out how to frame the decision to strike a clear contrast with Trump. I think they've got to talk about the importance of a fair judicial system, and they'll talk about how this is an example of a fair judicial system, and they'll talk about Trump being unfit for office. It's an argument that could potentially sway unaffiliated voters, who are now the largest group of voters in North Carolina and will likely hold the keys to a close election. It's those folks, those independent voters who still believe in the criminal justice system in the United States and that it's fair and that no matter what your former title was, you still get a fair trial. It's those people that could switch and become Biden voters. Now, it could take a few months for the public to digest the news and see how they feel about it to see any potential impact in the polls. But another factor here, former President Trump's sentencing is scheduled for July 11th, which comes just days before the Republican National Convention. Tom George, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Yeah.